This is the International Forest of Friendship, one of the most unique arboretums in the world, and the ultimate memorial to the history of flight and aerospace. The forest was a gift to America, honoring the bicentennial in 1976. 99's, the organization of women pilots, uh, had a really spirited woman named Faye Wells. She said, what if we found a plot of land somewhere and we um, planted trees for all 50 states and all those countries where there's members of the 99's. Someone sent her to Joe Kerrigan and they said, Joe's the man. Joe will, will help you see this project through. He'll, he'd, he'd like this project. My father and Faye Wells, they were the co-chair people for many, many years. And the first thing I remember he told Faye was, Faye, you take care of the, the, of the, uh, the production. You get the people here, I'll take care of the finances. And it worked that way beautifully for 20 plus years. We have international members in 31 countries around the world. Wouldn't it be nice if they were all tied together some way in, in the Atchison, Kansas, which is Amelia Earhart's hometown, in the World Friendship Tribute. And so we decided to create what we call the International Forest of Friendship. We thought that would be a wonderful way to grow with America into our third century. What we have here is we have a uh, wonderful, wonderful area. There's a total of about 45 acres. It's, it's, it's a very serene place. It's very comfortable. People come out here. We have lots of traffic. It's just considered to be a, a beautiful place. There are more than 1,200 monuments to aviation here. Every tree and each person honored has a fascinating story. You look at the sidewalks as through, the, through the trees and you look down at all those names you see aviation history. Uh, those barnstormers of the 1930s. Uh, World War II, when women um, made their own in aviation. Uh, we dedicate lots of uh, spots out of the Forest of Friendship to, to the wasps. Uh, all the tragedies, all the triumphs, are all clustered together in the Forest of Friendship. Faye Wells is in the record books. She was really just a young lady, and uh, the plane started to act kind of funny, and they took a funny dip, and they lost a wing. <clears throat> I mean, totally. And uh, so there was nothing left to do except both of them jumped out. Here I was thrown out upside down, 3,000 feet. I had no idea where my rep cord was. I knew it was on me somewhere, and I was going head over heels, and uh, I finally found my rip cord and I landed in trees. And when they finally called the fire department and got me a tall ladder to get me out of the trees, <laughs> they rushed me right back to the airport and put me in an airplane, took me right back up and went through all the stunts again because, you know, they didn't want me to be scared. It's like you fall off a horse, you have to get right back on a horse and ride. And, and they didn't want to lose a paying customer. In the pioneer days of Kansas, there are very few trees on the prairie. The sight of a cottonwood tree was a joyful time because it meant shade from the sun and usually water was close by. The cottonwood was named the official state tree of Kansas in 1937. The original starting point of America's interstate highway system is about an hour's drive from here on Interstate 70 just west of Topeka. President Eisenhower was a pilot and he designated that one mile and five of the interstate be suitable for a landing strip. And we have a moon tree. The moon tree, yes, Stuart Rusa went to the moon with the seed. Command pilot Stuart Rusa had a special cargo on Apollo 14, a small package that he carried with him to the moon. Sycamore tree seeds. Of the trillions of trees on Earth, only six can claim roots that stretch to the moon. And this is one of them. The moon tree that you will find at the International Forest of Friendship. Uh, we've got the original, I, believe, I do believe, seen as how Mr. Rusa brought it here himself. <laughs> the International Forest of Friendship is the only place in the world where you'll find the state tree of all 50 American states and the national tree of more than 35 foreign countries. And many of the trees have unique roots, like this one from George Washington's Mount Vernon Estate. And as you see on the stones around here, the name of the country, the name of the state, and the 
the state or country tree is here. And then we've had people here from those 33 countries. We also have a lot of astronauts that have been here. This section of the forest, Memory Lane, was designated as the first National Recreation Trail in Kansas. The celebration on the third weekend in June is always the highlight. There's nothing finer uh, for someone who lives in Atchison to be at the Forest of Friendship on the day of that June celebration and see 75 to 100 children lined up with flags that represent this country and our world. Uh, it's a very patriotic moment, a moment filled with lots of hometown pride. We have a wonderful group, a committee group, just wonderful people. They all pitch in and nobody gets paid a nickel. They never have. We are entirely non-profit. So someone needs to carry it on. So we're working on that aspect. We're looking for, the, for, for okay, how can we continue this in, in, in the future? The forest is open sunrise to sunset every day of the year. Admission is free. This is the International Forest of Friendship, one of the most unique arboretums in the world, and the ultimate memorial to the history of flight and aerospace. If you ever want to just get away from the world and come out and sit down and, and think, this is the place to go. Whether your interest is nature, aviation, or you're just looking for a beautiful place to stretch your legs. You'll find it at the International Forest of Friendship. <laughs>